Hi, I'm Chris. I'm the Blue Collar Cicerone. I've been reviewing beers on Facebook for a little over a year now, and you can find my pictures on Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, this is my first time to review a beer on video, so I hope you will bear with me, and I hope you'll be kind when it comes time to make comments. Uh, coming to you from my kitchen here in Lakewood, Washington, today I am going to review Mad River Brewing Company's Jamaica brand Sunset India Pale Ale. I picked this up at Gravity Beer Market in Olympia, Washington, one of my favorite bottle shops. I paid $1.99 for it. Uh, one thing you will discover over the course of time with this uh, particular site is that as a blue-collar Cicerone, naturally I'm trying to find uh, working men deals. So um, very, very rarely will you see me review a beer that's over $5 a bottle. Um, more often than not, I'm going to look for the beers that are a dollar and some change or two dollar and some change. Uh, for the most part, I just try and find beers. I believe firmly that you can actually enjoy a beer, drink good beer, and not have to break the bank in order to do it. But uh, enough with the philosophy. Let's get to the beer itself. Um, once again, let me show it to you right here in the camera. Get a good view of it. Mad River, Jamaican. Sunset IPA. All right. And just so you know, Mad River Brewing is out of Blue Lake, California. And I'm looking at their website's uh, description of the beer right now. It says, a rich light copper IPA that features a whole fresh hop floral character and a clean, crisp finish. Has two roll pale malt. Um... Uses Chinook bittering hops, uh, Columbus and Cascade flavor hops, Cascade and Willamette finishing hops, and Cascade and Amarillo dry hops. Uh, original gravity of 1.068, final gravity of 1.013, the ABV is 7, and 67.6 .6 IBU. So even for a, um, a an IPA, this is... Uh, it's not overly, uh, shouldn't be overly bitter, So, but we're about to find out. Using my Sam Adams glassware. Let's give that a nice hearty pour right down the center. Mm, as I'm pouring it, those hops are rising right to my nostrils immediately. I don't know how well this is going to come through on the camera, but this is a, a nice amber color. Got lots of carbonation. It's a very firm, spongy, uh, khaki-colored head on top here. Very nice. I don't know if I can get that into the camera or not. We'll have to see over the course of time. Fortunately, things will get better, guys, I promise. This is obviously me at my, uh, my freshman attempt. So, oh yeah, yeah, you're getting a lot of uh, hop smell, a lot of pine hop, a lot of uh, uh, cascade hops are, are known for having a lot of pine scent to them. <sighs> getting sort of a tart, um, not quite a uh, uh, raisin, but maybe like a currant, currant aroma, like black currants. Uh, yeah. Very strong, very strong aroma. Okay, <clears throat> let's give it a taste and see how it goes. <clears throat> well, that is a very, um, I'd say it's a mild IPA. It's definitely a mild IPA. I can see actually why they call it Sunset IPA, because it's not overly bitter. It's not uh, particularly difficult to drink. Uh, with a 7.0 ABV, obviously that's uh, not going to knock you uh, off your socks unless you're sort of a lightweight. Um, uh, I'm tasting a lot of the uh, the malt, that's for sure. The two-row uh, pale malt, definitely getting the malt. Uh, even a little bit of taste of almost like sourdough bread uh, on the tongue. Uh, Doesn't really have much in the way of legs as I swirl it around the glass. <clears throat> I 
I am a fan of IPAs, not quite as much as my friend Tony, who helps me moderate my uh, Facebook page, the Blue Collar Cicerone at Facebook. Um, but uh, I'd say if you're a true, true IPA fan, um, this might actually come in as a little disappointing because the bitterness just simply isn't there. It's more malty. Um, I've been noticing sort of a pattern with IPAs lately where basically they're, they're pale ales uh, calling themselves IPA. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm sort of longing for the um, overly bitter, uh, overly hoppy IPAs uh, that are out there. Um, this is definitely not one of them. Um, uh, residual bouquet left in the bottle after the final pour. Uh, we're looking at more that toast smell. Um, the, the malt, I would say, is definitely more prominent in the flavor and the, uh, and the aroma than pretty much anything else. Uh, all in all, not a bad beer. I would say this is actually the kind of, if you've got a friend who uh, you're trying to get into craft beer and you want to in introduce them to IPAs, uh, this might be a good one to go to because it's not overly hoppy, it's not overly bitter, and um, your friend who needs to come to the, uh, uh, come to the, the uh, join the bandwagon of craft beer uh, might do well to introduce him to this one. Um, can't say this is much to, uh, there, there's a whole lot to this, really. Uh, <clears throat> it, it just tastes kind of like a pale ale, and um, that's about all I can say for it. It's, uh, it's not producing anything new in the way of uh, hops, or anything in the new of the way of the bouquet, so, uh, hmm. Well, um, as I said, this was my first review. Uh, they will get better. I see them now that I've gone almost seven and a half minutes and said uh, a whole lot of nothing. Uh, and I do apologize for that. But, you know, things I, I will uh, I will become less nervous and more seasoned in, in uh, actually standing in front of the video camera like this. And uh, hopefully you liked it. If you did, great. Uh, if you don't, uh, go ahead and, and tell me too. Tell me, you know, uh, what what I did wrong, what you don't like about me, and uh, we can go from there. All right. Thanks for stopping by.